Lords, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very, very much for uh, inviting me here this evening. I really am uh, honoured uh, uh, to be here. Uh, so many people clearly need to be uh, thanked. I think um, Shri Blair, you have clearly, as president, uh, played an extraordinary role in pioneering this cause. I am, I, if I understand it correctly, you were first a patron, you're now president. I am now a patron. And you are. So I think it, many people would find it politically curious when I say I'm delighted that you're my president. Um, uh, thank heavens there are no political journalists around. I should call that. There probably are actually, for I know. Um, I'd also, of course, like to pay tribute to uh, the First Lady of, of Gabon. It, uh, I wish you had continued in English. Your accent seemed flawless to me compared to the way us Brits murder the French language. But um, I think we nonetheless, both in French and English, um, we're thrilled to hear your commitment to, to this cause and your absolutely pivotal uh, role in persuading the United Nations in uh, conferring this very, very important um, uh, date on the National <coughs> Widows a Day. I think it is a, uh, it's a mark of your powers of persuasion, but also the, the compelling cause that Raj has championed for so long that the global community has, uh, has recognised this in the, way, in the way that it has through the United Nations. Now, thank you very much for... Um, that introduction. Sorry that you don't feature in your wife's wildest dreams. You, you do feature as a, as a powerful pillar of the Liberal Democrat establishment for which I am eternally grateful and I'm very, very grateful to you for uh, introducing me to uh, Raj uh, some time ago. I don't know, Raj, whether you now regret that uh, Navna introduced us and that I subsequently asked you to uh, become a Liberal Democrat um, uh, member of the House of Lords because the House of Lords, as far as I can ma make out, has been turned from quite a distinguished uh, chamber of um, esoteric legislative debate into one of pure, unadulterated political trench warfare, which requires all-night sittings and uh, 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 the most low politics to, to try and get uh, some of the government's business through. And I'm delighted to, to you uh, for spending so much time there. And I know you've spoken very powerfully, particularly on issues very close to your heart to do with uh, development work. But the person I want to really pay tribute to, and the person I want to thank on behalf of everybody here is, of course, you, uh, Raj. I think it is uh, quite extraordinary uh, what uh, you have done. And I think what marks out what you have done is, is really two things. Firstly, your personal, your personal reasons for this. Uh, I think no one uh, can, can be unmoved uh, by the personal story of you and your family, the loss of your father very early on when you were very young, and the way that your mother, who must have been the most extraordinarily strong character, to have then worked tirelessly for you and for, your, for the rest of your family uh, to make sure that her widowhood did not, did not serve as a disadvantage to you. You have taken her memory and have taken her memory and her, her zeal and her commitment to her own family uh, to act as an inspiration for the foundation it really is very, very moving indeed. The second thing that strikes me, I, as it happens, I worked uh, well before I went into politics for a couple of years on, uh, I managed development aid projects in a, in a, in a different part of, uh, of, of Asia. Um, and I, it struck me then personally, and it's obvious to anyone who's ever studied um, <clears throat> the, the cause of development, that we cannot promote the interests uh, of children without promoting the interests of women. It is as simple as that. Unless we get behind women as engines of, of, of aspiration, of education and of development, we cannot serve the interests of the uh, young people today who are stuck in poverty in such large numbers around, around the world. And I think what is so striking about your foundation is that when I first discovered uh, uh, about the work that you do, my first question was, why was, that, why was this never done before? It's such an obvious missing piece of the jigsaw that if we want to promote the interests of children by promoting the interests of women that we must particularly pay attention to, uh, to those many, many, many uh, widows uh, around uh, the world who have to fight such great disadvantage and hard heartache uh, for, on behalf of their own children. So I am really, um, I'm really awestruck by um, the uh, way in which you have taken your own personal and then translated it into this wonderful public vocation. I think it is a real tribute to you and to your family and to, of course, the memory of your mother. So in the memory of your mother, all that you've done, I want to pay tribute to you. Raj Lumba. Thank you very much.